actually morning well I guess it technically is it's about nine o'clock um, anyway three out of the four kids are back at school today so that's good Aiden was feeling much better this morning I went down to get him no you may not have a cookie we're not eating cookies for breakfast after lunch maybe you guys when I went grocery shopping last night I got way too many sweets I don't know what I was thinking I guess I was just really hungry or really craving some sweets I don't know but I ended up yes you can have that but I ended up buying cookies and I bought two like frozen pies and it's ridiculous you guys it's a little insane <laughs> that I bought that much sweet type of items because we don't usually do sweets um, anyway <laughs> um, yeah Aiden was doing so much better this morning and I didn't notice any signs of continued self-harming like overnight or anything y'all my glasses were so dirty I had to just take them off and now I can't see so if I'm not actually looking at you sorry I'm, I'm le legally blind without glasses or contacts like legally blind they won't let me drive or anything <laughs> without glasses or contacts um anyway what was I talking about Oh yeah, I didn't see any continued signs of self-injury, so that is awesome because sometimes he'll get on this like tangent um, when he starts self-injuring and he'll do it for days and days at a time. And it's absolutely awful when he does it because I can't send him to school, obviously, because he's self-injuring. Um, and he has, he won't wear bandages or anything like that. Oh my goodness. But I gave him some Focalin last night when he got, um, when he started doing it again. And that really seemed to calm him down. And then this morning, I didn't see any more signs of it. So fingers crossed, you guys, that he doesn't do it again at school today. Um, his forehead was looking a lot better. I kept him home yesterday just because I wanted to watch him. I get so nervous that he's going to go on, on one of those tangents of um, self-injury. And it's very common for children who are institutionalized. And I keep repeating this, these like facts, especially for my newer subscribers who are unaware. Um, when Aiden was in the uh, mental institution in Ukraine, he was so abused and deprived of any normal type of human interaction. Does that make sense? Like nobody ever really talked to him. Nobody ever like sung to him, sung him to sleep or anything like that. So he never had like a mother's love when he was in Ukraine and just the lack of human contact and the lack of stimulation. He didn't have any toys. He didn't have anything to stimulate his growing brain. So he, he has resorted to rocking. If you see him like laying down and like kind of doing his head like that, he's resorted to rocking. He'll bite his hands. He'll sometimes start scratching at his skin. And that's all just stimulation. That's for stimulation purposes. Um, just from years of neglect. When you, children can't survive in a vacuum, you know, um, when nobody ever talks to you or hugs you or anything you resort to other things um, that are harmful so that is why he does all of that um, also you know being left in a high chair for eight to nine hours a day no I'm not exaggerating that at all he was literally strapped in a high chair eight to nine hours a day no joke um, and I have pictures I will actually right here I'll post a picture right here of Ada in, in, in the high chair in the institution um, and that is where he was basically basically all day long um when we went to go visit him in the orphanage um they would obviously get him out for the visits but i remember when we would leave to go back to our apartment in ukraine they would put him right back in the high chair when we left um he was also terribly terribly malnourished um he was 23 pounds when we brought him home and i will insert a picture of aiden this picture that i'm inserting right here is about six hours after we got him out of the institution forever so he's six years old in this picture excuse me and he weighs 23 pounds at the age of six and you can just see how completely malnourished he is um, and then there's another picture that I will insert you can also see 
ribs and just skinny, skinny, skinny. Yeah, I mean, that's the reality. I don't know if I've shared those pictures with you guys or not. Since he's been home about a year and three months, he has gained nearly 10 pounds. And he's just, he's doing so much better, you guys. I mean, it is like night and day difference. Anyway, I got on a tangent. I'm sorry. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know some of you yesterday were like a little bit confused with the self-injury and why would he do that? And I know some of my newer subscribers maybe don't know his story. So I wanted to kind of give you a the Reader's Digest version. Um, also for his birthday, his birthday is May the 20th. His birth certificate says May 14th. We have since found out that is not factual. It's actually May 20th, but we'll probably celebrate both days <laughs> just because we can. Um, he'll be eight years old. Some of you guys have been asking if you can send Aiden birthday gifts or send Piper birthday gifts because her birthday is May 5th. And, um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't know. Um, it would mean I need to get a P.O. box, which I'm totally fine getting a P.O. box. And I would love to get letters and cards and whatever from you guys. But I feel kind of weird you buying my kids toys or I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm still processing. Um, I might allow it for their birthday. I might let you guys do that for their birthday. But I just I don't want like continued gifts like constantly coming in because I love you guys and I don't want you guys to feel like you have to get anything for us. Like I just, I would appreciate like just a letter, like telling me your story. Um, I don't get to talk to half of you guys and I would love to know what my viewer's story is. And I just want to know a little bit about you guys. Cause I feel like I just, I throw my life out there <laughs> for all of y'all. And then I can't really return, um, your sweet compliments and your support. Um, because I don't know any of you guys. So I would love to get to know some of y'all. Anyway, oh, again, a tangent, box. Um, but yes, Aiden's birthday video is going to be up in May. I have a whole thing planned out and it's very complicated. It's a very complicated video for me to do. Uh, my editing skills, it's complicated. Um, but I'm hoping it turns out really good and I've already started working on it. So be looking for that about mid-May, maybe early May if I really get on the ball and get it done. But anyway, I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna clean my house, and then we're gonna go run some errands. Okay guys, so wow, I could have brushed my hair before turning the camera on. I'm out of the shower, um, no makeup or anything on yet, but I have about an hour to kill before we have to actually leave the house. So I'm gonna utilize that hour to the best of my ability, and I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and my living room and pick up stuff and sweep my floors and do all that normal type of stuff. So hopefully after we get back from lunch with my husband, I don't come home to a total disaster and I can just pick up where I left off. But anyway, and Piper is over here watching a movie. <clears throat> Some of you guys also comment and saying that you think Piper watches a little, uh, excuse me, I keep oh, having problems today. Um, saying that Piper watches a lot of television. She really doesn't watch that much. Um, because she's home all day with me, I give her about two hours of TV time a day. Um, and I know two hours may seem like a lot. Maybe two hours is too much, I don't know. Uh, my other kids get only one hour, which is mainly just Zoe because Narkees doesn't care much for TV. And of course, Aiden doesn't care for TV at all. Um, but uh, Zoe gets an hour because she spends most of the day at school. But on weekend days, Zoe also gets two hours. So it kind of evens out. I just don't want my kids sitting in front of the TV all the time, but I don't know, two hours, y'all, it helps me be able to get things done. And I usually am bad about it. I should split up the two hours and make it like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. And I don't do that. I just give her the straight two hours. <laughs> that way I have a solid two hours um, where she's entertained and happy that I can do other things, but whatever. It works for us. And most of the stuff she watches is educational type of shows. I have banned everything Cartoon Network <laughs> on Netflix. I know you can't like technically ban it, but I really monitor what she's watching and I'll go over you know, every 30, 30 minutes or so and make sure she's watching something that she's supposed to be watching. Um, I just don't like Cartoon Network shows, you guys. They're all inappropriate. They're, they're just, they're very crude and I don't want my kids repeating that type of behavior. About an hour, baby. One hour. And I need to hang up Zoe's, um, Zoe's dance costume. Still need to do that. Anyway, time to clean. 
Okay guys, so we are off. We're gonna go eat lunch. Um, and I need to stop by our other house and grab some mail, you guys. Gosh, I swear, we still get mail over there. And I have written letters and sent emails to all these people trying to change our address and we still get mail over there. Hey Piper, what's that? What's that? You say crouton? I just had salad and a soup. Was it good, Piper? I know you're eating daddies. Y'all, she brought her little uh, Easter egg with her. It's silly. Silly girl. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. <laughs> I have to run in really quick and grab the pipe that goes to the garbage disposal because I have to go by Lowe's and somehow pray that I can find the right pipe. It's this one right here. It is about half an inch too short to um, go with our new garbage disposal. And I am so sick of having to do all of this. Y'all, I don't mind doing dishes by hand. Truly, I do not mind doing dishes by hand. I've done dishes by hand for years and years and years. Um, but we have six people in our house. And it's hard to find time to do all of the dishes by hand. Oh, man. My door is going to whack me in the face, y'all. Piper's, uh, her, one of her birthday presents came in the mail today. It's a, it's a wobble bubble. I'm gonna open that for you all later. Okay, so a pipe for the dishwasher has been attained. Attained, is that the right word? Obtained. It's obtained, right? I have no earthly clue if it's gonna be the right size. I don't know, guys. Um, it's actually like an inch or two too long. So, and I don't know, we don't have a pipe cutter at home. So I'm kind of hoping we can just like squeeze it and force it to work. But anyway, that's taken care of. And now we still have about 30, 40 minutes before we have to actually go get Narkees from school. So I think I'm gonna run over here to the dollar store or something um, and kind of look around for some Easter ideas. Um, I. They've got like their Easter baskets and we're gonna dye Easter eggs, but I always like fill their bags with like little treaty type things. Um, and I don't wanna spend, it's on Sunday, sweetie. And I don't wanna spend a ton of money on it. I'm gonna stop moving because I'm still vlogging. Um, I don't wanna spend a ton of money on it. With four kids, the Easter budget goes through the roof with like shoes and church clothes and Easter baskets and candy and toys. and. It just gets insane. So in order to save money, I think we're gonna do the dollar store. Hey guys, okay, so we made it home. Narkees has a tummy ache. I don't know what his deal is, but um, the bus is about to run. So I am about to put my shoes back on and go out and meet Aiden's bus. Piper is, keeps looking. Yeah, honey, I keep, Piper keeps looking out the window. We saw a dog kind of wandering around when we were pulling out and I had to get somewhere. And yeah, and I couldn't pick up the dog and now we can't find it. So uh, that kind of bums me out y'all. I hate seeing like stray animals and I always try to pick them up and at least try to find the owners, but no such luck with this one. Hey guys, okay, so I put on grunge clothes and I am trying to repair the garbage disposal myself. Y'all, the pipe I got does not fit at all. Like it's not even the right size. Like we're gonna have to completely put all new piping in under our sink, but I haven't been able to run my dishwasher, but I found the hose that runs from the dishwasher where the dishwasher like drains and I have the hose pointed into a bucket. I don't know if y'all can see that. I have the hose pointed into a bucket. So we're gonna see, no, don't touch it. We're gonna see if it will drain <laughs> into the bucket. So I'm sitting here in case I need to run interference and like turn it off quickly Mommy, if I, I have like water pouring everywhere. Baby yeah. I like the, the the wolf, the zebra, because zebra yeah. starts with Zoe, which is my name, yeah. Zoe. Oh, I gained another little. 
Mm. Here's a Piper Little. Sticky. All right, go. Look at Keys's eye. Oh, my he baby. has a good shiner. Turn your head, buddy. Turn your head that way. Look at his eye, you guys. Oh my goodness. Man, he, he got a good shiner. Definitely have a black eye, buddy. All right, go play. I'll turn, no. a, I'll turn a movie on for you in just a minute, okay? Hey guys, okay, so all the littles are in bed and I am gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen and edit the vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.